Hello everyone, welcome to the first ever episode of Sherman's Computer Review. This series is going to be about, about reviewing computers in my computer collection, which, uh, which will be laptops, computers, or whatever. So yeah, today for the first episode, we are going to take a look at a Dell Optiplex 790 from early 2012. So, the BIOS, the date on the BIOS says as December 30th, 2011. The manufacturing date says June 2012, if you can autofocus. There we go. And I think the owning date was November 7, 2012. Yes, this did belong to a school district, which I am not telling you the name of, of for privacy reasons. And yeah. Uh, this had a school installation of Windows 8.1, not Windows 10, and so big fail. So yeah, I restored it to its original operating system, which is Windows 7 Professional. So yeah, let's turn it on. Here's the splash screen with BIOS revision A11. Here we have have the Windows 7 boot screen, which again, this is the original operating system that came with it. It, like, from the manufacturer, or the school, the school district had an installation of Windows 8.1, and so yeah, here's uh, the login screen. Fine, like here comes the login screen. So yeah. Typing the password. And here we go. Wow, that was fast. Uh, okay, so. What do we have on my computer? No, no, it's the uh, shortcut. Uh, okay, we have Windows 7 Professional, the Service Pack 1. This is a 64 bit operating system. A 32-bit district I mean, distro is available, but but I chose the 64-bit to make it more authentic. Since this is the Dell OEM version, which you could tell with this logo, it is activated. It, so, oh yeah, and and I used HeyDocs Windows ISO Downloader, the new version, as it provides every single Dell ISO OEM image. So yeah, this includes Internet Explorer 11. And which is pretty surprising. And yes, this computer was on the list of, of OEM images, which is for Windows 7 Professional. So, let's go to Specky, Specy, whatever, whatever, or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, here we have our operating system. The CPU is a Intel Core i7 2600. We got 3.0, 3.40 gigahertz with a with Sandy Bridge 32NM technology, four gigabytes of of DDR3 RAM, not Dance Dance Revolution, and we have a 250 gig big Seagate hard drive. I've and yeah, these things can be upgraded to solid state drives if you have the urge to. So yeah. And here, and since this is 64-bit, I was able to get Vegas 14 to work. Sadly, this is not my main computer. Well, it is one of my computers in my collection, but this is not the main one. And yes, it's in the garage, so no internet. That's a sad part. Part. So yeah, let's wait for Vegas to start. Just ignore the background noise. All right, I paused that clip, but here's Vegas 14. Oops. Here's Vegas 14. 14, yeah. So, and Camtasia work, surprisingly works on it too. No, I don't want to rename the shortcut. You know what? So we don't make that same mistake again. I took the sticker off here for safety measures, and yes, it has some sticky residue on it still. Alright, so Contagia's loaded. New project. And bingo, bango, bongo. 
it works. Works like a charm. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Sherman's Computer Review. Peace out.